Dan, you've always been like a brother to me. <laughs> but joking aside, as well as being able to call you my big brother, I can also call you one of my best friends. Although it's sometime... <laughs> Not now. <laughs> I was on a roll. <laughs> Although it's sometimes hard to see past your lack of sporting prowess and inability to handle your drink. You're such a kind, caring and funny man who I know will make a wonderful husband and stepdad. mum would ask me things about my girlfriends and my feelings for me. <laughs> now, believe it or not, I did all right back in the day. <laughs> I would normally answer with, Mom, I'm a player, I'm never going to settle down. <laughs> but she would always say this, Daniel, trust me, you will know when you have met the right one. Now, this never meant anything to me until one Christmas five and a half years ago. I'm sure you remember the conversation in the front room. I won't go into the details, but it started and finished with me in a blubbering wreck. But it's safe to say, I know what you meant. Lust and carefree times, who'd have known then hearts would entwine? He followed you out into the rain, nowhere to be found, would you meet again? Oceans apart, but never far away, found each other once more, should he stay? Love's never nervous, take the leap, take the flight, deep down inside she knows this feels right. Back in old Blighty, not a scrap of a plan, nothing holding you back, now you're Emma and Dan. A house, now a home, a new family in the making, learning each other sweet dreams you're creating. Then three became four, little patterns of pause, with new places to explore, Wisedale opened its doors. And next to this promise you make with all of your heart, to love forever and never part, knowing you these years, it's easy to say that you truly deserve this wonderful day. And now you are one, it is plain to see, you're both guilty of love in the first degree. <laughs> I would like to say the biggest thank you of all to my beautiful and amazing wife. <sighs> Firstly, thank you for showing up today, as I did wonder at what point will you realise that Dan is punching well above his weight <laughs> and he hasn't even got any money. <laughs> you truly look amazing today, as you do every day, and I am the luckiest man on the planet to now call you my wife. <sighs> when I saw you earlier today, at the end of the aisle, my heart literally stopped and I had goosebumps from how stunning you looked. <laughs> Emma, this is Emma. This is about Emma. You are such an amazing daughter. And I'm sure you all agree, the most wonderful mum to Edward. Emma, I promise to give you my love and friendship and to be there for you when you need me most. To laugh and cry with you. To laugh and cry with you. To trust and confide in you. To trust and confide in you. To comfort and support you. To comfort and support you. And to share all that I have with you. To share all that I have with you. All that I am and all that I have. All that I am and all that I have. I bring to you. I bring to you. May this ring. May this ring. Remind us of this moment. Remind us of this moment. And of the commitment and of the commitment I have made to you. 
For those of you that don't know how me and Emma met, we've actually known each other for a long time. Our parents were friends growing up and we would occasionally cross paths, but it was only really when I started drinking in the Rose and Crown at 17 years of age. There was this amazing, bubbly and gorgeous barmaid with curly hair that I couldn't take my eyes off. I would often stay right to the end and try and convince her to take me for a cab, give me a lift home, and one day in return I'd take her out on a date. My uh, good looks and charms finally paid off and she agreed to come on a date with me. We spent the next two or three years courting on a casual basis, or as the kids call today, Hannah, is it seeing each other, Hannah? <laughs> Chatting. <laughs> Our lives took slightly different paths. We both moved on, experiences the experiences that have made us both the people we are today. Until five and a half years ago, I returned home for Christmas after working in the States. sent me a message on Facebook saying, I believe you're home for Christmas, we should meet up for a brew. Little did I know at the time, it was this message that would change my life forever. Seeing Emma again after all those years gave me such a real feeling, and one that I could never describe in words. The only way that I could try to describe it is maybe that I was in love. And I'd always been in love with her, but for some strange reason, it was only at this point in my life that I'd finally realised it. Moving back to America for those six months and being without you, apart from FaceTime, was the hardest thing that I've ever done. And I can't imagine my life without you. You truly are my everything. And there are no words that could be begin to express how much I love you. You're beautiful, intelligent, hardworking, funny and caring, just to mention a few. You are my absolute rock and the most amazing mum to Emma and our dogs. I love you. I love you so, so much. I would now like to welcome Danny to our family. We know he will be a wonderful husband and stepdad for me. When we see how happy they are today, I'm sure you will all agree they make a stunning couple. Emma, you look beautiful today and I'm sure Dan still can't quite believe you agreed to marry him. Despite it only being official today, you have always been family to us and we've been so lucky to, <laughs> to already make so many special memories all together. It makes me so proud to see the wonderful home you've created together for Ed and Bruce and Dolly the dogs and seeing how you always support each other no matter what through your busy lives. It's obvious for me and everyone here today to see how truly happy you make Dan and how much you love each other. <laughs>